regarding the Islam in Europe, there is something very important. Islam was a part of the history of Europe, so it's not back to Europe. I mean that uh, when you say that uh, Europe is Judeo-Christian, it means it's Jewish, Christian, it's not true because Islam was a part of the Islam. Last week, President Obama, in his speech in Cairo, spoke about the contribution of Islam in the history of Europe. I think that there is maybe a break, a big break for the Islam, for the Muslims in Europe, but Islam is part uh, of the history in Europe. So maybe Europe is changing, but yeah, I think it, it will be changing in the good way, in the good sense, to be more open. And Muslims are not here in Europe as Muslims, but they are in Europe as European. The questions we, we are asking ourselves in Europe and in Norway is what is it to be a Norwegian? What is it to be a European? And I think this is a this is a powerful and very important questions, uh, and uh, I think that we will see that maybe we we can learn that having a community, having an integrated society, doesn't mean that we have to share the same values. I mean, I'm talking about not all kinds of values. Of course, you need some common understanding of of of, of human rights, and 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 you have to negotiate things all the time, but but that you don't need to share absolutely all values to feel that you belong together. Instead of building on common values, you can build on communication or sharing stories. Um, and that can make an integrated uh, society happen. I think that, that's our, our main task. The general American notion of secularism, which allows public visibility of religion, is very important for both European and some Muslim countries. But the French idea of secularism that excludes religion from public sphere, only a love in the people's conscience, is very problematic for Catholics, Protestants, and Muslims who want to reflect, who want to express their public visibility. So if there is a convergence of French idea of secularism in Europe, it will be a huge problem for Muslims in Europe. Spain is a, a strong Catholic country. So religion is part of our identity. What religion? That's the question. But religion is uh, something uh, people uh, used to see as culture. So in Spain now, 85% uh, says they are Christians, they are Catholic, as culture, not as religion. So now we are thinking about could Islam is religion or culture for the people who is now with us in Spain. I think the debate in Europe now is very much like the debate in the, state, in the United States 100 years ago. You had exactly the same arguments, but it was not the Muslims, then it was the, the Jews from Eastern Europe and the Catholics who came and threatened the, well, God's evangel the evangelical America. Exactly the same arguments were used against the, the Jews and the Catholics at that time. They were uneducated and they were radical, and uh, especially the Jews, they, came, they were communists and they had 10 children per family, etc., etc. And it didn't turn out like that. And I think we will see, see the, we see already today in, in uh, these predictions that, uh, of course, we perhaps there are now between 15 and 20 million uh, uh, people with a Muslim background in the European Union. So there are more Muslims in Europe as citizens than Scandinavian Protestants, where I, I belong. And this will perhaps increase to, to 50 million, but that doesn't mean that we are facing some kind of Eurabia, because these people, they will adapt and they... You can see already today, after the second generation have, have the same problems as uh, European families with too, too few, few children. So uh, I think it's uh, very unfortunate that uh, this whole debate about uh, Eurabia. And I think we in Europe should uh, take a look at America, not today's America, but go back at the debate here 100 years ago. That would make us feel a bit more comfortable and see that uh, problems are not impossible to solve.